Hi my babies, hi my babies, hi and welcome back to another cooking video. Today we are making beef stew. As you can see that is USDA prime baby, okay? So you go ahead and get as much as you need. I don't um, really remember exactly how many ounces it was y'all that I had but yeah so you're gonna go ahead open it up get out the package that's what it looks like y'all this is my first time ever making this and i didn't even use a recipe so yes this was amazing so i don't know about y'all but um i like to rinse my meat off okay <laughs> i don't care how clean you think it is coming from the store we gonna rinse it off to make sure it's clean okay so we're gonna go ahead and turn on the um, slow cooker, I already have mine on. Go ahead, put your meat in there, and I'm gonna get a rubber spatula and go ahead and even it out so when I start seasoning it with the juices and the sauces and the um, seasonings and stuff, it'll be right. So the first one, y'all, <laughs> listen. We all say it wrong. I'm just gonna call it W sauce, okay? I have it on the screen what it is. You know what that is, okay? I'm not even gonna try to struggle to say that shit, all right? <laughs> so you're gonna go ahead and um, make sure you use plenty of that, not too, too much though. You don't wanna be too salty, but one of the hardest um, to me things to season is beef. Like chicken season's really easy to me, but beef, nah, you gotta over season beef to make sure you can taste it. So we're gonna go ahead and stir that in, make sure every piece gets covered with that. Now this is Greg V from, well not Greg V, it's actually um, the juices from a roast beef that I made and I kept it and you can turn that into a gravy on the stove, but I'm actually going to turn it into a gravy in the slow cooker. So I was actually going back and forth whether or not I wanted all them fat chunks in there, so I took a lot of them out. You see that stuff that came out at the end? That's all that heavy seasoning right there. That's what we want. That is good flavoring right there, folks, okay? So, yeah, I put that in there so I can make a gravy out of that later on while it's cooking in the slow cooker. You're going to see what I mean in a few minutes. I'm going to make sure you stir that around as well. So that's like a marinade, basically, what I just put in there. So I know it may look nasty to some people, but baby, you know how to cook, okay? That's just fat. That's all that was. It was just fat, baby. Get over it, okay? Get over it. You're going to see a lot of that when you cook in. stir that up good and then we're gonna chop up our onions now I've told y'all before when I was in culinary school my chefs always told me my flavors and presentation was on point but my cuts with my vegetables and like y'all I just suck at it okay but it still be good so you cut it how you want to cut it love I'm just cutting the ridges I'm just using that as a guideline to cut it you cut it up however you want to though but make sure you add onion in there it is not beef stew without onion so we're gonna go ahead and add that in there as y'all see mine's is chopped up all different kind of ways okay look i got the job done that's the point all right people all right that's the point it was good eating i tell you that go ahead add that into your stew and then we got some matchstick cut carrots you can get julienne, whatever it is that you want, baby carrots, whatever. Rinse those off, put those in there. I'll be honest with you, it was supposed to be more carrots than that. You can add in more carrots than that if you like. I just don't like carrots like that. That's why I didn't put a lot in there. But carrots are really good for your vision and your eyes. So I really should have put more in there since I wear glasses, okay? So go ahead, stir that up too, boo. You're gonna be doing a lot of stirring so you're gonna get your arm work in, okay? No that, so. So don't wear something that you know that you're going to be sweating in and stuff. 
You better wear something that you would work out in to make this, all right? I'm not playing in the kitchen. So now we're gonna go ahead and start seasoning it with our dry seasoning. So of course, you gotta have garlic. Listen, black people staple seasonings, which you're gonna see a lot of on this channel, is garlic, onion powder, um, pepper, hell, lemon pepper, <laughs> parsley. Like, but the staples is pepper, onion, and garlic for us. You will see that damn near in everything a black person cook, okay? And make sure you put plenty. Plenty, I say. Plenty. Because this is going to be cooking for a while. So you want to make sure you put plenty. Also added some thyme in there. Y'all call it thyme. I call it how it's actually pronounced. No shade. <laughs> okay. No shade, boo. Don't be mad at me, baby. I was shocked when I found out, too. You was today years old. And here's another one. Y'all call it oregano. It's actually pronounced oregano. So, plenty of oregano. I know, it shocked you, didn't it, boo? Class is in session. You gonna cook real good over here. Now, what I tell you, onion powder. We don't play about it. Plenty in there. Yes, I know, it's actually real onions in there. I think I went a little light on the onion powder because, yeah, I did. Because it's actually real onions in there, but we still wanna make sure we can taste it. What I tell you lemon pepper i'm trying to it makes everything taste better chicken fish beef it don't matter i don't eat pork like that i only eat pepperoni from time to time on pizza so i can't tell you what it is on pork but when you get down to the end like that open it up you're gonna see them chunks down there at the bottom put them janks in your hand i'm from virginia just so you know janks is a noun it's a person place a thing so I will say jank a lot as well. Welcome to Virginia. Go ahead, sprinkle that up all the way across that, honey. We will use all seasonings, honey. Those seasonings will go to waste in this household. Do you hear me though? So we're also going to add an Italian seasoning, which does have oregano in it. And I think it has parsley and something else in it as well. See, those are the Italian staples. Somebody need to come out with black seasoning, okay? Matter of fact, I got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Make sure you use plenty of seasoning. I'm telling you, it's going to be cooking for a while. And y'all know how I feel about my black pepper. I OD with the black pepper so much I had to speed up the video, y'all. Yeah. Plenty of black pepper. It makes beef taste amazing. And you can also add in some flour. That's how you're going to make the gravy. That's going to thicken up your sauce that you just created with the base sauce that we made in the beginning across the meat. Okay? So, yes. Add, I think I did about a cup of flour. And stir that up really, really good until you don't see any white anymore, y'all. And try to make sure your flour is not clumpy, please, okay? Because then you're going to have clumpy gravy, baby. That's why. I know you don't know. I'm here to school you. That's what I'm here for. All right, so we're about to get it in. So we're going to make sure we stir that up really, really good. So you don't see no more white. So now what I'm doing is actually, is actually scraping the seasonings down off the side of um, the crock pot, the slow cooker. And also I made a space so I could pour the water around the edges of the beef, which I don't know why I did that because I ended up stirring it all in together anyway. But you need to add a little bit of water in there. Y'all, not a lot, maybe one fourth to maybe half a cup of water. You don't want your seasonings to get washed out. So I would say about um, a fourth cup. And stir that in and that's gonna help um, thin that gravy out some so next we're gonna do the potatoes after the beef has been cooking for probably about an hour and some change I'll make sure I put the right timings and stuff up there on the screen for y'all 
But I'm using white potatoes, and y'all, I lied to you not. I got the potatoes from hell. I swear I did. They were so hard. I will not ever get those potatoes again. Make sure you get you some good potatoes, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and stir those in. As you can see, the beef is already brown. It's been cooking for, like I said, an hour and some change. This is towards the end. I put the potatoes in like the last 45 to 30 minutes of it cooking because you don't want your potatoes to overcook. But because it's a slow cooker, they do need time to cook down. Plus, it's so much other stuff in there as well. So you wanna make sure that you get them in there in enough time to cook down. Don't want to be biting to no hard potato, baby. So about 15 minutes out before it's done, put on your rice. And it's still cooking, y'all. It's almost done, though. You gotta be patient with this, okay? That's why it's a slow cooker. Look at that. Now it's officially done. Doesn't that look so delicious? When I say we went in, we went in, okay? First time making it. <laughs> Show the day good. And of course, what I tell you, stirring. You will be doing plenty of it. So I went ahead and put my rice in a bowl because I didn't want to put it on a plate because I knew it would get messy. And you're just going to put your rice at the bottom and go ahead and just put all that goodness right on top of it. Make sure you get some gravy in there as well to cover the rice. And yeah, that's what it looks like, y'all, before I um, devoured it. <laughs> Arrest in peace. This will feed the whole family, I'm trying to tell you. It's a good investment. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Leave comments down below if you tried it. Love you. Mwah.